Hi everybody, this is Pete, and today you are watching the Camera Lucida 7.0 Introductory Tutorial Video Number 1. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your drawing surface and how to make a simple sketch of a cartoon character using my iOS application. Today, I'll be using my iPad, but you can use an iPod or an iPhone as long as it has a camera on the backside, any iOS device will work. I'll also be using this Sharpie marker to make my drawings with because it'll show up nicely on the video. You're going to need some blue sticky tape to hold a piece of paper to the table and of course you're going to need a piece of paper. I've already taped a piece of paper to the table so I'm all ready to go. Now whenever people are talking about the Camera Lucida application the very first question they always ask is how do I hold my iPhone, my iPad, or my iPod over the drawing surface? Well there are no right or wrong ways of doing it. I, today, am going to use this Lego stand that I just put together. All you have to do is find the camera and make sure that the camera can point at the drawing surface. There are other ways of doing it. Sometimes I use this flower vase and just mount my camera like that and make my drawing this way. Or I even have some more complicated stands. The higher up you put your iPhone or your iPad, the larger your drawing is going to be. All right, so let's get started. I'll use this Lego stand to begin with. And here's the application. Okay, now to begin with, you have to select an image to draw. At the beginning, you have two buttons for doing that. On the lower left, you've got a camera roll button, which will bring you into your camera roll. And then right next to it, you also have obviously a camera button for taking a photograph of a live scene. I'm going to select this picture of Super Y. Now because Super Y is in portrait mode and I want the video to be in landscape, I'm going to rotate the application making sure that the camera is still pointing at my drawing surface and then I'm going to pinch to place him how I want to draw him. That seems just fine. And now, I'll hit the draw button. And before I do that, let me show you these other buttons here. This is a save button. You click on that, and it takes a snapshot of your screen image so that if you want to stop your drawing and come to it later, you'll have a saved version of it with the exact zoom and pan settings that you had made. You also have a rotate button for being able to rotate the image in case it's not in the orientation that you want. Finally, there's this draw button that looks like a hand holding a pencil. When you click that button, it brings you into the camera lucida mode. Now the camera lucida mode turns on the camera so that it's looking down at your drawing surface like this. Okay? Now I'm going to move it off a little bit so it's hanging over. And now you can see how the iPad is actually looking at my drawing surface. Move that in a little closer so you can see it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the application by looking directly here, not at my paper, to be able to make this tracing. This slider right here controls the amount of transparency between the image and the drawing that you're trying to make. Over in the upper right hand button that isn't easy to see in the video is a focus button. What it will do is it will take the camera and focus on your drawing surface once and then lock that focus in there. That way when you move your hand under here autofocus won't change the focus. You'll always be focused on the drawing surface. Now you also have a toolbox button but I'm not going to go over these features today. You'll have to wait to the second video to see what those do. And at any time you can see me tapping the screen a single tap removes all of the menu functions so you have a complete drawing surface. Tapping it again brings them back. All right, so let's get started. Now here's the idea. Take your pen, take off the cover, bring your hand down, and then line up your hand with your drawing by looking at your screen and trace what you see. I'll show you how this works. Here's an eyeball. This is the reflection. I always like to start with eyes for some reason. There it is. Now here's his very dark iris that's filled in black. I'll draw that and quickly fill it in black. 
And now the outline of his pupil. You'll notice that my drawings are not always curved perfect circles. That's perfectly fine. And then the outside of his eye surrounded by his mask here. There you go. Now, if I want, you can see just the drawing surface. Not very round, but I'm no Disney artist. You can always set the transparency this way. Now, to keep going, let me show you another feature. If you double tap at any time, it will zoom in the image. It'll also zoom in the camera, and panning and zooming always locks the camera and the image in the exact same way. So you can zoom in very, very tightly. So let me do the other eye while I'm zoomed in. This allows for very, very accurate drawings. Here's his other pupil. Again, filling it in black. And then the outside. And then this mask. Let's see if I can make the curve a little rounder this time. Alright, now I'm going to go a little bit faster and just do the whole thing very quickly, roughly. I'm not even going to worry about exactly following the lines. You can take as much time as you want. I'd rather you see the final product than have it absolutely perfect for this video. People have used this application to do some really clever things like transferring drawings onto three-dimensional objects like eggs or miniature features. Some people are using it to help decorate their cookies which is a really clever usage. Some people are using it to make technical drawings Do his hair here real quick. Go. I think one of the things that's the hardest for people to get wrap their head around is that you're not looking at your hand while you're drawing. You're actually looking at your iPhone screen or your iPad screen, and you're making your drawing looking at that. And that shift of thought processes takes a little bit of getting used to. There's his nose, a little corner in his mouth here. That's fine. It may be just the indication of his shoulders. And there you have it. Super Y. All ready to be drawn in. Looks like I forgot something up here. Oh yeah. There we go. I'll move this out of the way. And you can see the drawing. The drawing's totally ready to go. That is the end of introductory video number one. If you take a look, you should be able to find my second video where we do a little bit more of advanced drawings. We do some shading and we get ready for a portrait. Thanks for watching.